Hi guys, Sandy Ingram here. Welcome. There is a quiet battle going on in the Middle East between Iran, Iraq, Saudi Arabia, and Kuwait. And one of the reasons this dispute is rarely in the news is because the dispute dates back 30 years to the time of Saddam and how the invasion of Iraq happened in the first place. The channel is not privileged to details of why Bush Sr. or Daddy Bush invaded Iraq the first time. However, according to the research, there may have been cause for Saddam to be utterly upset with Kuwait. Saddam accused Kuwait of slant drilling for oil, but now we are learning it was more to it. The land border between Iraq and Kuwait was determined or decided by the UN after Iraq army was pushed out of Kuwait, but the maritime boundary was left up to the two sides to resolve in the future. Since the 2003 U.S.-led invasion that toppled Saddam, both countries have been meeting to resolve this issue and several other issues with little progress made. The Technical Legal Committee on the Maritime Border will meet in Baghdad again on August 14th, followed by a delegation visit from Kuwait oil minister on September 10th. Now here's what you may want to understand. At the same time as the dispute between Iraq and Kuwait is being discussed, there is also a dispute between Kuwait and Iran over their maritime border and al Dura, an offshore gas field in the Arabian Gulf. Kuwait and Saudi Arabia say they have exclusive rights to the gas field. See, see the area on with the pink arrow right at the mouth of the Persian Gulf? This is the area of dispute. But here is the bottom line. Kuwait and Saudi Arabia claims could hold up the progress of Iraq's development road project. Iraq is constructing a $17 billion plan beginning at the grand port of Alfa, Basar, to connect Asia to Europe through rail and road networks that will traverse Turkey to the Mediterranean Sea. Now, this is a major investment that could yield Iraq billions in revenue. Shipments from Asia will no longer have to go through the Suez Canal. Transportating goods from Asia will be faster and cheaper once Iraq's development road is complete. 